Howdy boys and girls, it's Michelle with Bossibly. I'm going to talk to you today about negotiation planning. So we have been working with a gentleman that is getting ready to move from one company to the next who will re re remain anonymous for that very reason because he hasn't given us notice yet. Anyway, and he called us to figure out, okay, how do I do this? How do I get the most out of this new opportunity? What does that look like? And here's what we talked about. We talked about developing your five point plan. So what does that look like? What are the pieces that you need in order to get what you want? Well, one of them is going to be probably money. You know, what is your bottom line number that you're willing to leave your existing company for or your existing role. It doesn't mean that you have to jump ship, but what is that number? What do you have to get in order to say yes to the dress or ha, ha the role, not the dress, the role or moving from one place to the next? Uh, what do the benefits look like? That can be part of your number. You know, what is the role? What is the title? What is the growth path? Do you need any bonuses? What is going to really excite you in order to get this done and move in that direction? Maybe it's training. Maybe you want some training as part of that. And then what are your must haves and what are your nice to haves? So in his case, he had three must haves and two nice to haves. And he didn't, I think he got most of them. That's really cool. He got an offer. He actually is moving from 100K to 140K, which is fantastic. Results are not typical in this situation, uh, but you can expect a bump if you do plan and be willing to walk away if your must haves are not met. So that would be the tip today. And I hope you find it useful. Let us know if you use any of these tips in order to negotiate your next step. Have a great day. Bye.